everybody, and welcome to Ozarks Live. Glad you're with us today. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we're so glad you're here. Yes, we're glad all of us are here. I'm glad Kelly's here. I didn't anticipate seeing you. I didn't either. You've been out. I was oh, out you've been gone all day. Yeah, yeah, I have. I got here early and went out on a shoot this morning, and uh, I don't even know if I'm dressed right for the show. I didn't think I was coming. <laughs> How dare in. you, man? I know my hair's a little flat. It's all right. But it's, it's hot out fine. there. It's hot. Oh, it's so hot out there. Yeah, it is, it is very, very warm. Supposed to hit yeah. 95 today, I think. Hotter than, Hotter than that. Jamie, Jamie just, says. I thought I was going to say, I thought I heard Elisa Rafa say this morning that the heat index was like 105. It feels hotter than, uh, I looked at my gauge, it said 90. It felt way hotter than that. Oh, yeah, I think it's way hotter. Well, yesterday yeah. when I was leaving, um, I ran into Beth in the parking lot, oh, and yeah. I was like, so is it going to rain? Because there's a little bit of thunder and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I headed downtown, looked for all the world like the sky was going to open yes. up. Yeah. Not a drop. Not, yeah. I know. Not when we drop. left here, I thought it's going to rain tonight. We sure need it. But the south end of town. No, south end of town. Oh my gosh, they got a torrential downpour because a friend of mine that works down there mm. said, "Oh my gosh, it is like flooding south side." I'm like, in my house, it was thundering so loud, my dogs were all under the bed. <laughs> really? Lightning. Uh -huh. It actually snapped one of my new sunshades off. Really? Oh, really? Yes. It, oh I gosh. went out there to call. My cats were outside, so I was freaking out, going, come inside. There's a yeah. storm a coming. There's a storm a coming. <laughs> come inside. And all of a sudden, as soon wow. as I went out there, the sunshade snapped off the hook. And I'm freaking out. And then all we got were a couple little drops of rain. I think you got That's more than there. us, though. And I'm south of Nick, so we got nothing. It must have been very strange. Strange. Very targeted, some yeah. little yes. small mm. pop-ups, pop yeah. you know, just yeah. didn't pop in our place. Should have. <laughs> it should have. <laughs> we hey, need the rain. And speaking of, yeah. we got good news. Ozark's Pickers yeah. is returning uh, Sunday, July 22nd. With all new episodes, Kelly and I have been very busy shooting them. Yes, we have. It's been a very fun, action-packed summer. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we had so much fun. Our uh, season premiere, if you will, yeah. the second part of our season, is July 22nd. We have a fun theme, so we thought we'd give you just a little sneak peek of what's in store. Take a look. Kelly, is dinner ready? No, dear. I'm working on it. Kelly, it's 6 o'clock. Time for Ozark's Pickers. Oh, it feels <laughs> great to sit down. Kelly. Yes, dear. You know that television's not going to turn itself on. The real Jeremy emerges. I had no idea. That I is so promise. funny. Not Kelly, me. you don't have to put up with that. You I don't have to put up with that. Let me just tell you something. You posted it on Facebook and somebody said, you need to give him a swift kick in the you rear. Can't. You know what? I, we, after we shot that, we yeah. thought, when we air this, are people going to be upset about it? Or are they going to think I'm really being misogynistic? Oh, it was great. It's a parody it of the 1950s. Totally. Of the Absolutely. way you see those yeah. TV shows, that's how they were. And my mom actually posted and said, Jeremy, this is not a joke. I still treat your dad this way to this very day. Exactly she does. Right. She, she feeds him dinner every night. I know. It was okay. fun. It was a lot of fun. That is yep. fun. Yeah. You guys do great. I got him after the shoot. Don't you worry. Okay. Yeah, I'm still feeling it. Oh. It's our very last weather tour of the summer. Oh, Tom, yeah. where are you to wrap things up for the year? Well, I'm kind of at home base uh, in a way. I'm at Stronghold Safe Rooms out on MM Highway. And uh, while we're going to be talking about uh, a little bit later in the show all about the products they have here, it's Customer Appreciation Day. They're going to be giving away a gun safe today. But not only that, we are giving away the storm shelter. That's going to happen a little bit later in the show. You can come on by here. We'll be here till about 6.30. You can sign up for our viewers club if you like. And I think we're going to be giving away three, three of our weather radios. So lots going on. There's going to be music. There's going to be food, everything like that. So come on by and we'll be telling you everything that goes on here at, uh, at Stronghold. And we'll also be giving away those things a, a little bit later in the show. So be sure to come back in a little bit. We'll be talking with the head honcho here, Mark Wright, and tell you everything that's going on and how you could benefit from coming by and seeing us here at Stronghold. Back to you guys. All, All right. right. Sounds good, Tom. Thanks. Yes. See you Very later good. in the show. It is Home and Health Wednesday. Today we get to see a performance from the Branson mm -hmm. Regional Arts Council and Tom, of course, making the final stop on the weather tour. Right. Big giveaways mm -hmm. later in the show. But yes. before we get to it, we're going to show you what's 
on the radar. Here is something for Home and Health Wednesday I could have used last night, frankly. Have you heard of a lotion for insomnia? No. No, I didn't sleep well at all last night either. I didn't I either. None of she did. I slept horribly. I did too. Well, I guess we need some of this. Okay. This stuff is called Sleepy. It's from a company called Lush. This is a lavender scented lotion. That's not much of a surprise, I guess, because lavender is supposed to have that calming yes. effect. But the product was launched back in 2016 as a limited edition holiday exclusive. But it sold out, and it is still selling out. But the news here is that this insomnia lotion is so popular, the company is now selling it in these giant 14-ounce tubs. <laughs> the original was like a 3-ounce travel size, okay? Oh. So it's a little bitty 3-ounce thing. So now you can get these giant things if you can get them. I actually went to their website earlier today. I didn't see that they're out again, but maybe How I just didn't click How much was it? How much? Not a ton. If it'll make me sleep, I'm no, cares? I'm gonna go buy it after the show. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you. I need to sleep. I've yeah. not slept well in so long. I typically sleep really well. And if I yeah. don't sleep well, it really makes me mad. Because well, I don't yeah. know how to deal with it. And last night was one of those nights I woke up and just couldn't go back to sleep. So. Sleep is a big problem in this country. People do take sleeping pills and different things yeah. to try because we are not sleeping. We're not sleeping long enough and we're not sleep getting into the REM well, sleep. Well what's the problem? What do you think? I think I think a lot of, I think it's too much stress. I think people's minds are going like Our minds that. Won't that shut off. my yeah. mind that's I, I that's know for sure. Is. My mind yeah. will not shut off. Well and there are people who swear by this lotion mm -hmm. and a lot of people do like you do the um, what is it, the Vicks vapor rubber mm -hmm. Right. On your feet. Oh, yeah. Some people say put the lotion on your feet. Yeah. Somehow it absorbs, and that almost makes it sound like there's a chemical element to it. I always thought it was just the scent yeah. of the lavender that's that, supposed to help you. But yeah. either way, yeah, I might spring for have some you heard, stuff. Have you heard about the onions on your feet? Uh huh. That, isn't I have that heard about that. to help what? you also to draw the toxins out? You put, yep. you slice an onion, put it in your sock, put it in your something? sock on the ball of your foot. Are you serious? And you sleep that way with the onion. It's supposed to. I think that's what it's for. Jeremy, you have some extra I onions that you can. Bring I us. do. I have four hundred <laughs> onions I know you actually. Do. So, so bring it, and we'll all have Try a detox it. session. Yes, yeah. maybe that will help. That sounds good. Maybe that would just be so weird. <laughs> First to, of all, to socks feel. In bed. Can you imagine Ooh. feeling an onion sleeping? That sliminess on your foot so and your sock. So you slice it up. Slice it, I believe. Just a slice of onions. Well, I think. I'll Google that after the show. Try it and let you know, know if anything weird happens. We can combine well, it with the lush lotion, Like, do you though. need to pl take your blood work before and after to see if it did anything or what? How do I you know, know if it did anything? I don't know. Uh, I'll Google it for you. I want to yeah. try it. I okay. just have been meaning to. <laughs> okay. um, here's something in the health department for our pets, because okay. you know I like pets more than people. <laughs> it's just true. Namely, our dogs. Have you heard of the harness that helps prevent heat stroke. No. Yes, listen to this. It's called the dog tag, D-A-W-G, because I like to be like that dog tag. <laughs> dog tag. Uh, it's a Kickstarter project. The temperature sensing harness keeps track of the animal's core temperature. It also displays it on a screen, and the dog tag also offers a reading of humidity, which can be an indicator of how quickly your dog can overheat. Mm. I think that's fascinating. It is. I love that. The inventors say that the normal core temperature for a dog is 101 to 102 degrees, mm -hmm. but they can go into heat exhaustion at 105. Wow. Which is three degrees that's different. Not, that's scary. That's very yeah, scary. That's scary. It's so, yeah. it's so few degrees. Yes. And if you think about it, if your dog is on a run or he or no. she gets overheated mm -hmm. in a hurry, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that can do it. Well, if you're, if you're in a high humidity, if you're yes. in a long yeah. run and the dog's panting, you know, you might yeah. need to give Fido a break. It's already. called Missouri. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's what it's called. It's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. It's brutal. You could be one of the first to, to own one by making a pledge of $120, <laughs> which is a savings of over 40% if you go to the Kickstarter. Not a bad deal. I don't I have dogs, too. I have a dog. She's slightly overweight. I will not fat shame her. She's just slightly. Which one? Gaga. Okay. Little diva. And she has these <laughs> little we legs. We love her. And she will walk in the heat sun. And when she's tired, I'm not kidding. She's just like walking. All of a sudden, she goes, drop. Boop, drop. Yeah. And I, I'm not walking anymore. She did not speak to me the other night. When you tried to FaceTime me and get her to speak to me, she, she was like, not having any of it. I was Marco Poloing you. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, same sort of thing. Yes. Anyway. Okay. Sometimes when I don't look at you know Marco Polo. Yeah. yeah. If I don't look good, I put my pets on and I talk and just show the pets. Because uh, I'm like, I ain't going to show myself right now. You need pets to train not that better. It. Yeah, like, Gaga was not out of the Kelly. Put the hand All up. Right. Here is something really interesting going on in the health department regarding cancer patients. True story. It's a new beer, okay, designed to taste mm. good to people who are undergoing oh, chemotherapy. Perfect. It's called Mama Beer. It comes out of the Czech Republic where beer is the national beverage. Now, those folks drink an average of 36 gallons per capita annually. That's that what I read. Like that lot. is a lot of beer. Okay, according to NPR, the developers recognize that chemotherapy often alters the palate so that nothing tastes 
good, and yeah, this true. is true. Yeah, Ask true. someone who's been through it. Yeah, they don't even right. want water. Oh. Um, in response, they formulated this non-alcoholic beer for breast cancer patients to get their gastric juices flowing, mm. hopefully help stimulate the appetite a little bit, and just plain make the patients enjoy life a mm. little bit more. Wow. I think that's really interesting. That's As of awesome. right now, it's only available in the Czech Republic, but apparently... I'd like to know what they did to this right. beer that they I couldn't do to too. every other thing. Yes. Because, you right. know. Why, you why know, couldn't they? Right. I, I don't know. I would like to know more about it, but I did see this, thought it was kind of interesting, you know? Well, you would think maybe they could give you something that would change internally where everything would taste yeah. good instead of just normal. one product. Or at least normal. That everything yeah. wouldn't taste bad because yeah. there's something that just. People don't want water. They don't want. I remember gum, when they my grandmother mints, was going know? through chemo. Now, she did not drink beer, she did not drink any alcohol. Yeah. However, I just remember her. And she was such a great cook, and mm. nothing tasted good. She goes, Jeremy, my mouth just tastes metallic all the time. Mm -hmm. That's oh, what Metallic yeah. all the time. And it was so sad to see her go through that, because she was such a good cook, and she didn't want to eat. And you got to keep up your strength. you got to eat when yeah, you're going through treatment. Absolutely. Exactly. And you don't want to eat. Yeah. And, you know, some uh, patients have had luck with things like Ensure. Of course, mm -hmm. a lot of them don't like the taste of that either, but I remember them saying, you know, take a straw yeah. and try to suck it down, drink yes, it down real yeah, yeah. quick, and maybe you won't have so much of the taste, but that would be horrible to go through. But it leave it be. to the Czech Republic people to figure that one out. But, yeah, how about you know, that? Interesting. That's they want their beer. They want to relax. I don't they blame them. <laughs> Not alcoholic beer, but still. Yeah. Something What's in something. that beer? Yeah. Right. What, what are they well, doing? Well, let's find it. Let's, let's find out. Get some let's sprinkle get, on everything. Maybe get, people would eat, because you lose yeah. your strength if you're not eating and drinking. You let's can get Kim from Macadoodles on that. Sick Kim on the She would know. Kim, Lorenzo, and McDoodles, we're getting on that. <laughs> See what we can find out for you. <laughs> All right, very good. Still to come this afternoon, a performance from the Branson Regional Arts Council. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started.